Stop it. Hello again, this is Jim and Carla. We're still in Rechikoko, which is a little village in northern Uganda. It's the last day that I'll be here, and I just wanted you to get a glimpse of our compound. This is where we do the majority of our ministry is right here. Behind us is our office and our Bible school. And we have uh, a Bible school that rotates about every 10 months. And Carl is going to tell us a little bit about that. But we also are open five days a week for people in the community to come and present needs to us. And our goal is to serve them physically to open up a door that they would hear the gospel and be truly healed from their spirit. So Carla, tell us just a little bit about how you do the Bible school and how Lamplighter functions in northern Uganda. Okay, the Bible school is basically run by two pastors, Pastor Samuel, who is the main director of the school, and we bring uh, pastors, church leaders, they come here for 10 months, but only uh, one week at a time, and they meet down there, they have video uh, teachings and they take exams they also has a, they have a book that they have to buy uh, we have a cook that cooks for them during that time we have a dormitory that they stay in so they have a place to sleep uh, and in six months they can get um, a certificate and in ten months they can get a diploma of biblical studies and then they're also equipped to go out and teach other pastors, uh, well, other leaders, and to teach their own church, to raise up the people, the level of the people in their church, for starting other churches, um, evangelism, youth and children's ministries. And we've seen that to be very effective because though it's a, it's a very simple uh, Bible program, it's detailed and, and solid in its foundation in developing strong theological truths and it's given the pastors a lot of confidence to, to teach their church people the Word of God and that is so needed here where the education level is challenging for a lot of people and so now our pastors are slowly getting educated and confident in the Bible and that's what they're teaching the people we also help children how many uh, people do we feed on a daily basis here we feed 35 children and around five different adults which are usually grandparents that are crippled and unable to work in the garden and that's what's that's every day right we feed yeah. three meals a day every day well yeah basically yeah, yeah. In addition to that, we're a resource for the community. So a lot of people who are sick, they can't get to the hospital. We provide transport to them. We have connections with hospitals and we have connections with people and they just help us serve this community. Rats Coco used to be uh, what we would call a refugee camp. It was an internally displaced persons camp where some 15,000 people were gathered in this really small area to be protected by the Ugandan military during the Lord's Resistance Army War. And since then, it's been on about a 10-year recovery. And in these last few years, we've been able to see marked growth and maturity in the community. It's taken shape as a small village and trading center more than just a, a, a former refugee camp. So we just wanted you to get a glimpse of, of what we do. This, is a, this compound is about two acres, uh, and it's completely walled and fenced. And then outside, we have an additional 16 acres that we allow some people to live on. And we also allow some of the widows and ladies in the area to use the land for cultivation. And this is when you support Lamplighter, when you give, when you pray, this is what you're doing. You're touching these people. You're touching these children tangibly in a real way. And it's making a wonderful difference. So we just wanted to thank you. This will be my last Facebook Live post from North Uganda. Thank you guys for everything you do. And God bless you.